when Mark and I started talking about doing this, it became immediately clear to me that we basically are the same company in a lot of ways already, which has been fantastic. Mark Coker's a very nice guy, same philosophy for how he treats um, authors and retailers and his own employees as I have. And really, it's all about respect and dignity and putting authors at the center of the universe has always been our goals. So the midpoint is really helpful in a novel because a, the middle of a book is when people get bored. I mean, that's just true. There's a lot of plot in the middle of the book. And so if you have something that you can write to and then write away from, it actually helps draw you, the author, into the novel as well. Being market aware doesn't mean that you are driven by the market kind of slavishly. You don't have to adhere to all genre tropes. You don't have to adhere to all of the standard elements in covers, but it behooves you, I think, to be aware of them so you know where you are aligned with the norms of your genre and where you're differing from the norms of, those, of the genre. So when I first started writing, I did, I did a lot of exposition, almost like Charles Dickens style. And that was helpful for me to understand what this world was like and what it looked like, but it would have just been boring for the, for the reader because they don't want to read all of that exposition. They want to see characters doing things that have an impact on the world around them. And so, yeah, that's, I kind of took a lot of that out. It's primarily, I think, a different type of audience. The type of person that goes to this content is just somebody that's wanting to consume things in mass, wants it to be really easy, maybe doesn't want to make too many decisions around what they want to read. They want it to be put in front of them. 